Hello and welcome to Intermediate Composition, whoops, uh, Writing About Writing. This is English 2089, Section 16, and this is during the first mini summer session of summer 2013. My name is Christina Lavecchia. Um, it's fine to call me Christina. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, you can go ahead and call me Ms. Lavecchia, but Christina is absolutely fine. Um, my students usually address me as Christina and you shouldn't feel shy about doing so yourself. Um, so this video is here to kind of replace my first day spiel I would usually do in a face-to-face -face classroom um, and to give you a sense of what we're doing this semester. So because this is an online course, um, I won't hold office hours. I will be available to chat with you um, as much as you need but um, I don't hold scheduled office hours um, because I know that everybody's kind of on a different schedule and everything's flexible. So I just try to make myself as available as possible. Um, so there's two ways to get a hold of me. Um, the first is you have my Skype username here and the second is um, my email address. Um, I will, when I'm at my computer and available to chat, I will sign into my Skype and simply be there available. Um, and note that if you're if you're intimidated by video chatting with me, um, there are three different ways to get in contact with me with Skype, over Skype. You can use the chat feature, which is just like any old text-based instant message feature like um, the G chat or um, like the Facebook chat. Um, it works just like those. There's also a voice chat, which basically works like a phone call um, or there's a video chat. Um, and I'm happy to do any of those three, but um, you're by no means obligated to do the voice or video chat. You can simply send me a quick instant message if you need to, if you see me signed on. Um, if you do send me an email, um, please uh, be prepared to allow up to 24 hours for a response. Um, I do try to get to emails as soon as possible, but um, I won't be at my com tied down to my computer 24-7 um, every single day of the week. Uh, so please do um, leave time for responses and try not to um, leave questions until the last minute. Do try to plan ahead with your deadlines so that if you can't get a, a hold of me, um, you'll still be okay. Um, there's a couple other ways. Um, you can also uh, get questions answered by posting to um, the discussion board forum, Lean On Me. It's that first form listed on the discussion board. That's a place just for you to post general questions about the course. You can ask about course content, but it can be about um, clarification of due dates or where things are located on Blackboard. Um, and I'll respond to those questions there. Um, and you're also free to respond to your classmates and kind of help each other out as well um, in case I'm not getting to you um, quickly enough. So Intermediate Composition is a course that is moving forward from the, the ways in which you talked about writing in your first year composition course to kind of make it a more complex and theoretical thing. Um, so we're kind of thinking now about writing as a social practice. Writing as something that happens in cultural groups, in communities, um, and is shaped by social for forces. Um, and the goal of this course is to introduce you to conceptual ideas and then to um, give you the tools to investigate those, apply those ideas and investigate um, them yourself in a way that interests you and relates back to um, your major or your hobbies or, or whatever else have you. So um, the course um, is also Theme, uh, the theme of the course is also writing about writing, which means that you'll be introduced directly to what researchers in the field have learned about writing. Um, and um, so that means that some of the readings in the course will be challenging. Um, because it's on a compressed schedule, I don't have quite as many readings as I would during a full semester. Um, that said, you should still be prepared to do um, a good amount of reading. But um, I do... Um, work with you to um, kind of talk through how to approach those difficult readings and um, the discussion board posts and blog posts that we'll talk about later are also there to kind of help you understand them and to kind of work through them as a class together. Um, so the course description here kind of should give you an idea for the main ideas we're talking about this semester. Um, the three main ideas being literacy, 
genre, and discourse community. Um, so those are the three ideas that we're working with this semester um, to, to figure out. So for some of you, this may be, um, you may be completely distance learners, um, taking all of your courses that you see um, online. And some of you may be taking a distance course for the first time or second time. Um, so I want to make sure we go over what to expect in an online course. So because this is an online course, it's really, it, it's really crucial that you are um, someone who can adhere to deadlines and pace your own workload. Because being an online learner means being a self-motivated learner. Um, the benefit, of course, is that you get more flexibility, um, but you need with that comes increased independence. Um, so I really highly recommend that you print the syllabus out. Um, I mean, you're not required to print anything in this course, but I really think it would be helpful at least to print the schedule, um, if not the syllabus, so that you have it handy um, and you can kind of keep it in view, you know, like tack it up on the wall or, or put it on your desk so that you can keep track of your deadlines um, because um, I'll try to send out a couple of reminders over Blackboard now and then, but I can't send reminders for every deadline you'll have, especially for the smaller pieces like discussion board posts. So you'll be needing to keep on top of that yourself. Um, this is a semester level course, so it does bear three full credit hours, which the university defines as 750 minutes of formalized instruction. So that means that we're squeezing roughly 40 hours of class time into four and a half weeks, and that does not include homework and essay writing time. So it's a good gauge to expect somewhere between 10 and 20 hours of work for this class per week. So do make sure that you're setting aside an appropriate amount of time to devote to completing course readings and writing assignments and um, don't uh, try to attempt to do all of those at the last minute. Please also keep in mind that the course assumes a working knowledge of Blackboard features and functions. And um, so if that's something you're not familiar with, you'll need to do your best to use the resources available to you in order to um, succeed. I'm not asking you to do anything particularly um, egregiously difficult this semester, but um, you will need to be able to use Blackboard competently is the basic idea in order to succeed in the course. Um, so I'll let you read over some of the syllabus yourself. So of course I didn't read to, read to you the course description. You can look over the course goals um, in terms of required materials. All of our course readings um, I'll be posting as PDFs on our Blackboard site <clears throat> and the only Really, the, the only major components beyond that are having access to a computer. Um, I recommend broadband internet access, so um, if you don't have that at home, then getting to a coffee shop or library that does, um, and access to a reliable hand, uh, handbook on a website like the Purdue Al, or if you have um, an old textbook from your 101 class, 102 class, lying around like the Allen and Bacon Guide to Writing, um, using those. Um, so in terms of policies for the course, uh, the first is hopefully common sense, and that is that um, I hope for us to join in cultivating a community that communicates respectfully, um, productively, honestly, and supportively. And because this is an online environment, please do be especially mindful of tone, as it can be easy to misread um, tonal inflections such as sarcasm in a textual environment like an online course. Um, we'll also be sharing our work with each other fairly often, um, so do be prepared to um, be sharing your writing with your classmates. Um, please do remember those deadlines. I don't accept late work unless you um, ask me beforehand for an extension, and beforehand doesn't mean a couple hours beforehand, but ideally two days before, possibly one day in some cases. Um, so I can be flexible if you have some kind of... <clears throat> some kind of personal issue or life commitment um, that you know is going to get in the way of um, submitting an assignment on time, but um, in that case I do need to hear about that ahead of time. Um, my expectations for communication from you are that you will um, make careful note of your deadlines um, and that you'll regularly monitor the Blackboard announcements and your email um, and that you'll also work to troubleshoot um, technology issues as they arise. So I've, oh my gosh, excuse me, I've included some um, 
tutorial links to tutorials and um, frequently asked questions on our Blackboard site as well as links to the help area in Blackboard. So um, there there's a myriad of resources from tutorial videos to um, forum postings. Um, you can also contact UCIT um, either by calling them or sending them an email to address um, issues or fill in your knowledge gaps. And if those resources would fail you, I'm also happy to, to help you as well. Um, and you might also consider asking your classmates for help as well in that discussion board forum that I mentioned. In terms of for me, um, I'm going to do my best to accommodate your needs. Um, and I've made a course that I hope is easy to navigate and is clear about deadlines. But if confusion arises, please do contact me. Um, I will respond to emails within 24 hours um, and provide regular feedback throughout the week on your shorter assignments like your discussion board postings. I can't guarantee I'll re I will re respond to every single post. I will read them all. I won't necessarily be able to respond to every single discussion board post. But you can expect, you can expect me to um, reply to um, each of you at least twice. I said at least twice this term in the syllabus, but really I'm hoping to respond to each of you um, at least twice a week. Um, and then in terms of papers, I'll be giving you feedback on your drafts before you turn in a final product, and you can expect feedback on those papers um, within a week. Um, course essays should be written in MLA document style, um, and information on that can be found in your style handbooks. Plagiarism, of course, is bad. It means that you have unintentionally or not um, use the writing, scholarship, or ideas of another person without acknowledgement. So this means if you kind of do a lazy paraphrase where it still s sounds pretty close to the original, um, if you haven't cited an idea that you borrowed, um, or if you don't put language that you borrowed, excuse me again, into quotation marks, then you've plagiarized. Um, so if you're unsure about something, please do ask me. Um, plagiarism is a serious form of academic dishonesty punishable by firing squad because it is illegal to kill students. We will instead, instead kill your greed. Um, do let me know if you have a question or concern. Um, I do see your writing regularly, so it does become, I do become quite familiar with your writing style. Um, and I do ask for, you know, lots of smaller assignments that build up to those larger assignments so that I get a sense for where your thinking's going. Um, so, I do get a you know I do get a sense for what's yours and what's not. Um, so if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me about that. Um, also, if you have any kind of um, disability or impairment that um, you feel will influence your performance or attendance, well, I say attendance, but um, I guess your completion of assignments in this course. Um, then I ask that you contact the Disability Services Office um, to arrange for um, accommodation very early in the term. And this could be anything from some kind of physical impairment. Um, maybe if you have an audio impairment, um, then you'll need me to caption videos um, or provide transcripts. Um, I just need to hear about that um, within, this says the first two weeks, but really within the first week would be best. Um, because we need to be able to talk about it and agree on the accommodations together. Um, so do be an advocate for yourself. If you have a need um, that you think that I can help you with, then do document it with the Disability Services Office and get then get in touch with me. Um, and documenting it means that you don't necessarily have to disclose what kind of um, disability you have. Um, all the DSO lets me know is what kind of accommodations you require. Um, I have some other resources here for you in this box. Um, of course, talk to me. Don't struggle silently. I'm eager to help you succeed, so please do keep in contact with me. Um, keep, it, keep in mind that the Writing Center is there to help any kind of writer at any stage of the writing process. They can help you get started. They can help you revise um, and polish a nearly complete, completed draft. They're there for writers having um, a lot of trouble. They're there for writers who just want more feedback and, you know, aren't necessarily um, feeling like they feel like they have a pretty good draft under their belts, but they still want to make it a bit stronger. They're there for all kinds of writers in all different kinds of writing situations, and they do work with online students, and they are open over the summer. Um, there's more information about this on our Blackboard site as well, so please do check them out. 
um, UC Libraries has a resource page for distance learners that may come in handy. Um, and I have some uh, suggestions for backing up your work here. You should regularly do so using either the UC Sky SkyDrive or something like SugarSync or Dropbox, which automatically sync your files on your computer with a free storage space online. Um, so I have Dropbox and it just means that anything I save in a certain folder on my computer just is automatically also backed up online and I don't have to keep re-uploading stuff once I install the program. Just saving something means that it gets backed up online too. So it's really convenient and it's free um, and I recommend it so that you don't have a hard drive catastrophe and get stuck um, because, again, I don't accept late work. You want to make sure you're prepared for those kinds of situations. Um, and if I haven't checked to see if they work with distance students, but if you're in the Cincinnati area and you have personal problems or stress that are affecting your academics or your quality of life, um, the Counseling Center is an excellent resource. They provide confidential counseling, um, and they've helped a lot of students here at UC, and you shouldn't be afraid to take advantage of that resource as well. Um, so the grade breakdown is um, here, basically blog entries are 15%, discussion board posts, and that includes the kinds of uh, discussions that we may have had in person in a face-to-face -face version of this course, that's worth 20%, um, and then the literacy analysis, that's our first essay assignment, that's 15%, the genre analysis, that's a shorter essay assignment, that's 10 the proposal and conference, that's a proposal, and then a conference about the proposal, um, that's working towards the final research project, which you can see is the largest component of your grade at 35%. And the fine prints there on my grading scale and the possible course grades. Note that um, this is an A through F course, unlike English 1001, um, which you may have taken here. Um, there is no NP grade. Um, it's possible to earn grades lower than a C- minus in this uh, version of composition. Um, so there are quick uh, descriptions of each of these grade components here. I'll go over the first couple of them and then leave you to read the rest of them on your own time. The first is blog entries, and these are short writing assignments that I expect to be a little bit substantive, um, more so than discussion board posts. Um, I'll ask you to blog in response to some of our course readings. So you'll read something and I'll ask you to respond to a question that um, helps you think through it. Um, and also sometimes to prepare for the course essay assignments, which means that hopefully these writing, these pieces of writing are working for you in terms of helping you work towards drafts for your essays as we go. Um, so these are informal pieces of writing where you can try out some ideas. Um, so I'm not looking for perfectly polished pieces of writing, but I am looking for writing um, that is that has thoughtfully engaged with the material and that has been proofread so it's easy for me to read through. Um, and I'll try to provide some feedback on some of these towards the beginning of the term so that you have an idea of my expectations by the end. Um, and usually I'm looking for, when I say substantive, um, I'm looking for about a full page which is about 300 words. Um, so I'm looking for a couple full paragraphs when you're writing those blog entries. Whereas the discussion board posts, these can be um, a lot briefer. Um, these are meant to mimic our face-to-face -face class time. So this is about you being able to learn from your classmates. Um, when I've taught this course before in face-to-face um, -face environments, um, my students have often commented that their favorite part of the course was the class discussions because they got a sense for how their classmates were reading and thinking about the material um, and they got and their classmates opened up new perspectives and new ideas for them. So I really encourage you to be active on those discussion boards. Um, not only putting in some thought and care into your own posts, but also um, reading through um, you know, a fair number of your classmates' posts as well to get, a, to get some kind of exposure to those different ideas that you would have gotten in the face-to-face -face environment. Um, and those discussion board posts, I typically grade very quickly, just like on a check, check, check minus sort of basis, which is roughly equivalent to um, an A plus, A minus, and B minus, 19080. Um, so those are those two uh, components of the grade. Um, so then the final four listed here, literacy analysis, genre analysis, research project, etc. Um, I'll leave you to look through those on your own time. We'll also come back to them throughout the course. Um, I'll have a separate lecture, for instance, just introducing the literacy analysis um, in Unit 1. 
So I'll leave you to look through those. Um, and then, of course, um, please take a close look at the course schedule document that's also in the syllabus area of Blackboard so that you're clear on the deadlines for the course and the expectations. This is a course that I really enjoy teaching. Um, this is one of my favorite courses to teach. And um, I'm really passionate and excited about the material. And it's my goal to help you find at least one thing in this course um, that you are passionate and excited about as well. Um, I know that you're a bit of a captive audience here, that this is a required course for um, students at the university. Um, but I really do feel that the course content is applicable to everybody and can help you to think about the work you do in your own majors um, in a new and interesting way. So I look forward to working with you this uh, mini semester and please do contact me if you have questions. All right, take care.